electrical engineering semester 5 so this exam timetable which is available on website shows that this exams are starting from Thursday that is 15th November 2018 starting from the paper IC engine and then 22nd November it is mechanical measurement and control then on Thursday that is 29th of November it is heat transfer and then on Wednesday that is 5th December 2018 it is dynamics of machine and then 12th December so different student may have different elective on 12th December so based on the available time starting from today okay we are already on 15th October and 15th November the exams are starting so based on that I have kept the timetable and I have kept it up to 11th November half a day so that from 11th November the from half day can start for the particular paper which is as per the timetable so before that you can study the other subjects and plus that subject also that is which is the first paper so all together if you see uh, what I have kept is 5.5 .5 days for each subject for studies okay so based on your preparation and based on uh, the difficulties which you are facing with some particular subject so you can increase the days or you can decrease the days based on the suitability okay so now the timetable which I propose is starting from 15th of October okay so you can have two days 15th of October and 16th of October for IC engines that is two days then from 17th October that is Wednesday and Thursday 17 and 18 you can do mechanical measurement and control on Friday and Saturday that is 19th October and 20th October you can have heat transfer for two days then again uh, that is 21st October and 22nd October that is Sunday and Monday you can have electives okay so two days for elective if you want to reduce here it's your choice then Tuesday and Wednesday that is 23rd October and 24th October you can have dynamics of machines and then Thursday and Friday you can again start from IC engine okay so those who do not have any KT can follow this timetable and those who are having KT can have some different timetable where they can insert one day or half a day for preparation of their KT paper so as per this considering that you don't have any KT the Thursday and Friday that is 25th October and 26th October 2018 you can again start IC engine whatever is left okay so then again 27th October and 28th October that is Saturday and Sunday you can have mechanical measurement and control and then Monday and Tuesday that is 29th October and 30th October you can have heat transfer uh, and then Wednesday and Thursday that is 31st October and 1st November you can have the elective uh, here you can increase the days or decrease the days based on your preparation which you have done for that particular subject and then Friday and Saturday that is 2nd November and 3rd November you can have dynamics of machine and then Sunday that is 4th November and 5th November here what is happening now since the examinations are approaching so and you have to revise all the chapter okay and all the subjects so what I have done if you take two days for all the subjects then we will have very less time for the first paper preparation so that's why what I have done individual subject I have given one and a half day here you can uh, study whatever is left or you can do the revision so on 4th of November and 5th of November that is half a day you can do IC engine and half a day you can start mechanical um, measurement and control and then 6th November full day you can use for that that is mechanical measurement and control and then Wednesday 7th November and 8th November half a day you can use for heat transfer then on Thursday half a day and Friday 9th of November uh, you can use for elective and then the last thing that is Saturday 10th of November and 11th half day 11th November that is half day you can use for dynamic of machines from 11th half a day okay you can take a break or you can start studying for the first paper so then from 11th 12th 13th 14th you will be preparing for the first paper okay so then based on the papers you can go on studying so this was my proposed timetable you can increase the number of days or decrease the number of days based on 
your study which you have done for that particular subject and if you find those subjects little difficult or little simple so based on that you can reduce or increase the number of days so as such now I have kept 5.5 days for all the subjects which you can do before the examination so these 5.5 days can be utilized for study or revision of those particular subject so hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye